What is up everyone? We'll go back to Eden Chronicle Rising. So here at the bulletin board we beat the main storyline. And we have a ton of quests here available. I think there's like 23 of them here or something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, yeah. 23 side quests. We're just going to go around and accept them. And you unlock all these after you beat the storyline, which we did in the last episode, like I said. So what I'm just going to do is just going to go around accepting them all and do some of them, I guess. But it's typically better to accept them all and then do them all in bulk. Alright, so this one we have to find the lost treasure in the quarry, okay. Yeah, it's going to take us a few episodes to complete these quests, obviously. Um, I'm going to try to get as many of them done as possible. Um, so we're starting with the plaza here. We're going to go around and set the quest in this area. And then we'll go to the next area, set the quest. Alright, let's go to... I know there's some in the town outskirts. So we'll head over there. Next. And we'll just, some of these will be at a complete route to bat as soon as we accept them. But some of them we're going to have to go out of our way to complete as well. And we should get an achievement after we, uh, or not achievement, but a trophy after, um, after we complete every, all the town residence quests. So after we complete all 23 of these, I should be all of them, I think. And that'll be every resident quest in the entire game. You guys know I complete every side quest in games. So, gotta do them all. Alright, so that one you have to go to the borrows, okay. I'm gonna skip into the dialogue pretty quickly too. Pause the video if you need to. Alright. I gotta go to the borrows for that one as well. This is why it's better to set them all at once. Because if a quest has you go to the borrows or whatever, you can go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. And it's just better to do it that way. In this particular game anyway. Some games, it's better to like complete one quest at a time, you know. But this game has you go back to the same areas multiple times. So it's better just to accept every quest at once. This one we can already turn in. Oh, a little fish, okay. Alright, another stamp there. Got another quest here to accept. I'll just go ahead and put zoom on my computer or my control uh, TV here. Oh, I can see this better. 
There we go. Treat the family bow. Alright. Next we'll go to Outlander Lane, I guess. Because I'm assuming there's going to be some quests here as well. Yep, right here, Sarita. Punchable face, wow. By the way, it's on hard difficulty as well. I put it on hard. After you beat the game, you unlock hard. Alright, get a lava rock. Okay. Another quest here. Tara. Alright, we gotta get high purity or... Alright, got their hardwood. Another quest here. I'm guessing this will max out every shop too. Um, it'll allow us to get max, uh, to max out our equipment and everything by completing these quests. Apparently you can't do it until after you beat the game. You can't max your stuff until after the game. Okay, find Whetstone. Another quest here from Frida. Alright, obtain Golem Rubble. We already got that. Another stamp there, alright. And we upgraded the shop as well. Defense ring level 5. So apparently we're maxed. Yeah, there's nothing happened there either. So yeah, we're done with that. Alright, obtain Thunderbird eggs, okay. So we can get those deep in the snow peak. Alright, um let's go to Second Street now. So many side quests guys. We'll get them done though. Okay, for that one we need gold ore, which we have. Another stamp there, alright. Upgrade the shop. There's probably an achievement for making a level 5. Uh, hold on, let me zoom out again. I can't see. There we go. Let me go down and make some of the good ones. I can make a serendipity. Eh. Rarity pinned it. Okay, we can get one of these, I guess. There we go. Got a, got a trophy too. Yep. So you do get a trophy for getting um, tier five. For making a tier five. All right, I gotta zoom in again. I literally can't see the text if it's like not zoomed in. 
It's actually... Okay, we got more high purity ore. Apparently everybody wants high purity ore, apparently. Okay, I think I might be... Yeah, that's all the quests here in... Uh, let's go to the residential district now. You can change the difficulty here too if you want to. You can change it at the base. But I'm going to keep it on hard. See if there's any quest over here. Nope, no quest over here. So we'll go to the room quarter next, probably. I'm sure there's going to be some quest here in the room quarter. Yep. Two of them right off the bat. All right, so giant lava rock we got. Go ahead and complete this quest. Upgrade that shop. This does only level three. How do you get the level higher level than that? Is that max? I guess so. Okay, find the stolen inventory. Alright, obtain purple slime joe, which we have. Go ahead and complete this quest. Yeah, like I said earlier, some of these quests will just be able to complete right off the bat. But some of them we're going to have to go out of our way for. Okay. Uh, durable stone, which we have. We'll go ahead and give it to him. And quest complete. Bracket in them stamps, guys. I guess some shops is max at level 3, I guess. I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, we'll go to the farm next, see if there's any quests to farm. Yep, here we go. Alright, purple slime joe which we have. Thank you kindly. Another stamp. I guess the farm's leveling up here. Nope, I guess not. So it maxes at level three as well, or level four as well. So I guess every shop levels up a certain amount and then stops. Find a jar in the quarry, okay. Go ahead and grab all this stuff. Another quest from Emerson here. Okay, Emerson sword. All right, next we'll go to the pasturage. That's pretty much it. For the areas we can accept side quests in, so I'm guessing we'll have every side quest accepted after this. Doing pretty good on time, only 14 minutes in. Okay, uh, worm skin, we already got that. 
no stamp. Oh, we can actually buy these. I'm gonna buy one though. It's kind of weird. Um, I guess you can only hold ten, maybe something. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's see if we have a request at this point. Go back to the plaza. Go to the bulletin board. Just make sure we have them all. No, we still want more. Uh. Oh, we gotta go to the Great Forest, okay. So we need to go there for quest anyway, probably, so. He needs medicinal herbs, apparently. Okay. So we'll save it here, and then we'll go do these quests. Let me zoom out again so I can actually see everything. Nope, not why it's green. There we go. Alright, so I guess I'll stay here in the Great Forest for now. Let's see which ones we have here in the Great Forest. Alright, so we got one there. We gotta get hardwood lumber. We got one there, medicinal herbs, and that's about it. Well, there's only two things here. All right, so we are deeper in. We gotta go to the cave. It looks like. So we'll go ahead and fast travel to the cave. I think. Maybe it might be one other, one of the other ones, one of the other teleporters. Yeah, I went to the wrong teleporter, but it's fun. We can just go to the next zone here. Yeah, hard's not much of a difference uh, than normal. They have like a little bit more hit points, but that's about it. Doesn't even matter. Alright, so now we're in the right zone. We gotta gather medicinal herbs from these things. They probably hit harder too, I'd imagine, but ain't nothing like to worry about really. Oh crap. Alright, completed that quest. Go ahead and just grab some stuff here. Alright. Let me, let me mark the other Great Forest quest. Actually, hard, hard word lumber. We can get that pretty much anywhere. Uh, wherever we can harvest lumber at. We're just going to have to look around for it. Yeah, I got to fight this boss again. This time on hard. We haven't fought this boss on hard yet, so. Like it's gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. Champion of the Great Forest. Wait, what is that one? Hold on. Let me actually check that one out. Defeated the boss of the Great Forest on hard. Okay, so you gotta beat all the bosses on hard. Probably. I can do that. 
We can go back and fight all the bosses on hard. I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't mind doing that at all, actually. That'd be kind of fun, actually. Seriously, come on. Jump up there. Surprising can take a lot of damage. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's not even a healing item. He used the wrong thing. He used a buff there. I thought it was like a healing pot. Oh, there's a lot of bandits around here. See ya. Wouldn't want to be a... Alright, so we gotta find more lumber. We're gonna have to keep going here. And hope to get some. Get juggled. And hardwood lumber. Dang. <laughs> I do got wrecked. These things are the only thing that like damages me in this area. Oh crap, ow, oh, these things might actually kill me. Dang it. My attack power summon, then push them off. That's oh, got some more number there. Four thousand Bakwa. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and head back here and turn in the quest, and then I'll probably end the video. And we'll go ahead and um, do some more quests in the next episode. At least I accepted all the quests. So in the next episode we'll be able to I guess I can go ahead and turn some of them in. We gotta go back to the beginning of this place anyway. Turn in this quest here. And then our 
another stamp. All right, let's go back to town. We have to turn in that other great forest one. Where's it at? Uh, Outlander Lane. Okay. Oh, we guess up another one here too. So yeah, after we complete some, we'll unlock more, obviously, and that's what happened there. We completed a quest, so we unlocked a new one. And I'm assuming it'll fill out the whole board here. The black or whatever. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.